the stock cold shoe covers that come included with cameras are quite lame so let's take a look at some aftermarket alternatives first let's start with my favorite which is the wooden hot shoe cover and this color in particular looks super nice on the on the zfc matches the panda coloring very well i also bought a uh, darker brown reddish brown uh, hot shoe cover but <laughs> it doesn't fit onto the camera, onto the hot shoe, not onto the ZFC or any other camera that I own. And that is the risk that you take when you buy one of these uh, wooden hot shoe covers is that you will probably have to do some filing to make it fit. Clearly the tolerances are all over the place. But if you're willing to do that, then, I mean, for the hipsters out there, doesn't that look nice? Now, less, some less attractive options <laughs> are spirit levels for the hot shoe cover. Uh, this one is made of rubber and it actually covers most of the hot shoe. So it probably gives a little bit more protection to the hot shoe than the standard covers. But it's not actually glued on or anything. It's just uh, you could easily pop it out, <laughs> the, the spirit level. So I wouldn't trust the accuracy of the spirit level, but it does provide a little bit more protection as it covers the hot shoe more than, uh, more than a standard hot shoe cover. Now you could also go for one of these larger spirit levels to put on your hot shoe. And you've got ones with two or three axes of leveling, which is cool. But they are so bulky that I have never actually <laughs> wanted to use them. Maybe if you're doing landscape photography, um, Maybe, especially if you don't like looking at the virtual spirit level um, and when you're composing your image. But I, I find the virtual spirit levels to be so convenient that, that these are a bit redundant. The only place where I have actually used these is when uh, setting up a vary pole and I want to make sure that, that it's actually completely vertical. <laughs> That's where, but I mean, you could use any spirit level for that. Now, lastly, is this gorgeous gem. It is a 50 millimeter viewfinder by Lights, which of course is the parent company of Leica. And so, I mean, it has some nice pedigree right there. And uh, again, not a lot of use cases for this on a modern camera, but the one place where I have actually used it is in doing long exposure panning shots especially with a 50 millimeter lens. So, yeah, I mean, I, I found a way to justify the purchase, but uh, most of the time it is, it is just a decoration. I hope that was interesting. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.